All right, what's up, guys? Jason here, back with another video. I uh, is E three just ended. Yeah, is practically all the conferences with E three has ended. There's pretty much going to be more announcements to come because it's since E three is the last day is tomorrow, and so I think we got a lot of stuff to talk about. So there's a lot of stuff we're going to be. I'm going to talk about, but for and but most importantly, yesterday was of course. The direct and holy mother Christ Smash bro Super Smash Brothers Ultimate was shown. Every character in Smash is here. Man, that's a lot. So from every character from beginning to end, from the beginning all the way to the recent ones, that means even the third party gears, Mer Mega Man, Ryu. Cloud, Bayonetta, Bayonetta is still here, everything's still there, and it has a lot of stuff different from the original. This is, first of all, let's, let me clear this up right now, this is a brand new game, this is brand new, I know we've all seen the direct, but in case anyone hasn't, or haven't caught up with the news, let me break it down to you guys very simply, every character is that has been in a Smash game. If you have played Brawl in Smash 64, they're in it. All the characters that you play in Melee, that have been in Melee, is going to be in there. Brawl, etc., etc. So that means the return. we're witnessing the return of Snake. We're witnessing the return of Wolf, which is actually a character which I was surprised that wasn't in the game to begin with. So, but he is back. So I get. I'm hoping that he is actually just as good as you. I don't think he's gonna be as good as was in Brawl, but at least give um. I like him. Like that he's back. He was a great character. I never played Brawl. Never played him much in Brawl, but he was fun. He looked. I think he was cool. It was. It was a fresh new uh, character, and he was differential. Differentialized to uh, Fox. It was kind of like Ken in a sense. If you think about it, if you think about uh, Street Fighter, he's practically Ken. I think the same can be said about Falco, but or we can just say Akuma. In this case, actually, what was basically the Star Fox version of Akuma? <laughs> I'll just clarify that. But um, of uh, so all the characters are in there. Um, there actually is going to be a. There is also going to be. GameCube controller support, which is actually the biggest thing a lot of people have asked was, will there be cap? Will the GameCube controller be phased out now? Be gone, and now we're going to be stuck with dealing with Pro Controller and Joy Cons. Because that's a lot of questions. Because as someone, I'm probably sure a lot of people have asked, like, are we going to not have a GameCube controller? Like, we're not going to have GameCube controllers. So. Game controller is still there. It's that's the that's a controller that's still gonna be supported. And but I think the biggest one, biggest piece of news of all was the re is the reveal of Ridley. So yes, the Metroid, the Metroid villain, the main villain of Metroid series, is in the game. Is in Smash, and they actually had a lot. They actually had a playable build of the game. And it had three three characters. It had Ridley, actual had Ice Climbers showed Ice Climbers was there ready and Snake was there. When I look at Snake, it's basically I'm there are some differences to a lot of characters. Actually a lot of characters every character had a little trailer so it showed their movesets. Uh it's about twenty to thirty seconds long. I'll probably get a quick uh, chance I'll probably see if I can find that. But it seems possible, and I'm gonna break. At least give small mini breakdowns of each character shown, and if they're if they already had gameplay, I'll probably break down that their gameplay as well, so everything works. And um, you now go in depth on them because that'll be a video which I will do very extensively. I'll make at least. I think like it's gonna be fun. It sounds like something I think we all would like to hear. Um, I uh, don't know when or where the public is going to get a playable, get a chance to play the game. 
I'm hoping there they do make a dem do release like a demo version. Like I hope that Nintendo actually says an indirect bef like a few months before there's a beta. Like a beta slash playable demo where we can play this game versus mode with friend with like a versus mode. Like then we can just play either one on one or either like a limited time demo or there probably will be now do I think there will be an online beta? Probably. I think possibly yes because because they actually have it because of you know Nintendo Switch is gonna have a paid online service online uh, online service which is paid you have to pay to at least play online and stuff so yeah so there has to be so yeah there has to be at least they gotta at least show uh, something with paid uh, they gotta at least make sure the online is good Actually, one thing is netcode has to be good, at least in terms of that. So if you're gonna give pay online service, there has to be uh, there's possibly a netcode. So also there there was also a video made by Game Explain, which actually had a lot of they also had a showed off a lot of the all the alternate cos costumes, and there was like. Pretty much already 240 total, and that's out of the 30 characters that was shown. That's in this playable build, and the playable build that is an E3 right now. So 240 plus. I did see get a chance to look at Marf's colors, and he does. He has pretty much the same colors as he has in previous games, and then I think he. Had, I think the latest one he actually there was one more. And it was Marv's color when he was first dis debuted in uh, the original Fire Emblem. So his debut costume. So it's a nod to the original. So that I'll look. I hope I can get a chance to look at that. And I hope there's more chances to unlock costumes because I would like to unlock costumes or at least make customized costumes. Because I bef definitely want to cost. Oh, there's something like customization of like costumes. Why not? So at least want to see stuff like that. Be a thing. Um, what else comes next, Elvis? Um. So let's see. So uh, a lot of things. Zapper, I promise there will be con there'll be some. He's gonna try to constantly update. Give make sure there's a consistent amount of updates and also consistent balancing balances balancing to the game and the way you saw at least there's actually a thing one of the things about is this going to be a are they going to raise like the competitive side I think they're kind of helping uh, give make sure the competitive scene is practically they're making some good mechanics a lot of mechanics that are going to be that are going to be inter very new first off there is you can air dodges you can now have a directional input to air dodges. So that means you can at least move left or right. But the thing is, there is some end lag to doing stuff like that. So in one case of mechanics, there is wave landing. Wave landing. But because of the end lag, it is not the safest idea. Safest idea, but... If you want to use it, it's a risk. It's a risk reward type scenario. Scenario. Um, one thing is now is you, if you roll more often than you do, it is, it is going to be slower. More times you roll, the slower the roll is. That means you are more easier to get punished, which is good, because actually now that award rewards. Aggressive players to some of the aggressive, more of a aggressive play style. That means works. Perfect shield is different now. Instead of now you having to pre press the shield at the right time. Instead, if you release the shield at the right time, it creates like a parry. It's basically a parry. It is kind of like a parry in the game. 
and a parry. So basically parries are now in Smash, so in terms of like Ryu having did can parry, everyone can parry. I think Ryu actually has a bit more. I think every character has a parry of some sort, so it's different. Um, is there anything new to characters? Well, there was actually a show I did see is thanks to Nintendo Unity, there was they had 65 all showed all 65 characters in difference. Says, I'll note, I'll point at some of the big differences right at the moment. Big differences right now. Marth is a start off with practically, I say, Link's Link's moveset. Link's moveset is Link is a complete redesign. He is now look like the character from Breath of the Wild. From his Breath of the Wild costume, it actually has remote bombs now, so he can just throw a bomb and and remotely detonate it. So I'm thinking you how you would how would you detonate? I'm probably guessing it's down B to throw, and then and then I guess you press B to press B to set off the bomb. Probably set off the bomb. He has two arrows. He now shoots two arrows, so it means it's so I don't know. One can shoot high, and one will shoot low. So it's so it's basically like you are practically either way. You have to you're gonna get hit by everything. But um, but actually, I guess one of the big state. But I guess one of the biggest things is also short. One of the big mechanics I forgot to mention in this. It is there is. Basically, you can do short hop aerials at any point. Basically, like you, you can now basically at this point, like hold shield and sh you can hold jump and a jump and attack at the same time. So in this case, Y and A, you can just press it at the same time or a little delay. It's it's basically like inst you can basically do. Basically, combos is gonna be fat. Basically, it's gonna be basically that kind of opens up problem potential. One of the things that bad, which was when you lock at the build, is there is a lot more knockback to moves, but damage is also adjusted to pains is adjusted. The damage output is more adjusted depending on if you're playing one on one. It's pretty much gonna be. I think damage is more. Adjusted to like you're since you're focusing on one opponent, you're facing one opponent back to back. You pretty much just hitting, you're gonna be hitting harder and harder. So it means harder hitting attacks. Attacks. So so there's gonna be like a lot of hard harder hitting attacks. So the game is gonna be very aggressive and probably a lot more fast paced. Actually, there is actually da dash dancing. So. It's it's a that's sort of a mechanic in the game, so that's kind of one of the good things about it. It still has there is some a lot of stuff like melee some melee stuff. There is I don't know how much melee stuff is in here, but it is but it is shown that there is some aspects of melee they kind of that Nintendo looked at especially. Since this is made by HAL Laboratories, the guys who've made the Super Smash Bros. Melee and the original Smash, and the original Smash, so that's when the things about gonna be different with the game. And a lot of characters have been look differently. There are some redesigns. Art styles is different. There are actually different. Um, out of some of the stuff we saw, some of, like for example, Diddy has his Gordofro, and you basically can now catch the Gordo. Diddy basically can catch a Gordo and then spit it back out at you. So, so there's some juggle opportunities right there. So I'm like, oh crap. So even if you bounce it back, he can still catch it and spit it back out at you, and then basically you can. I don't know if you can play a game of hot potato with it, so I don't know if you can play a game of hot potato. If you can, then okay, let's and this is gonna be fun. Then I would like to see. <laughs> this would be a crazy form of smash potato, so 
so great. So that's good. So it gives DD a bit of, like a more of a pressure. I don't know, interesting stuff. Uh, there are some differences I didn't look at. I didn't get to notice really hard. Uh, Peach's down tilt is now a kick. So that's all. Also, all the characters like now you're thinking of characters like Lucina and like Lucina and Darkbit, they are now called Echo characters. So they're still there, but I think you actually have to. I guess there's a certain button you have to press or to get that Echo character. Also, there is a new Echo character, so which is Daisy. So Daisy is similar to Peach, just like Daisy is similar to Peach. There's certain things. I'm for sure it's different. We'll probably look at them later. Later is probably the they'll probably now show off that gameplay. Probably more gameplay of that later on. There wasn't a lot, but there was some show at least a good amount of stuff. Good amount of stuff. So we we get to see Inkling. It has their moveset. It, Inkling we got to see gameplay of Inklings. And uh, Inklings actually have is if you their main special their neutral B is Splatter Shot Splatter Splatter Shot, which is which is basically shooting. If you ever played Splatoon, it's basically you just shooting with a gun, and and you can get covered with paint, and the paint actually you can take more damage as while you are covered if it's paint. Also, the ink that the Inklings do have is li is in a tank. It's limited, but you can actually charge to build build more ink. Uh, all the other neutrals, there's Psybe, there's the Slosher, there is the the uh, the Roller, and um, not sure exactly every. A bee's recovery, it's pretty strong. It is, you can get hit on the way up, and then you can get hit by a downward box. So it it can hurt. So I don't know how good it is. Like use as a, like attack. Like if you're gonna do like some like some kind of Firefox or Firebird KO or some kind of dolphin slash up bee type of like it has potential like to do some bayonetta stuff. I don't think it does stuff like that. Unless somehow, I guess if possible, like if you're going to if you're fighting off top, and then that's a somehow an interesting way of countering out of maybe Bale's ladder combos. Maybe that's something that works, but I don't know. I don't know anything like that, but <laughs> but it is interesting to see how the but a lot of the stuff that you see in England is pretty much from the Splatoon games. So there is a lot of stuff I'll probably look at. I'll probably do look at soon later on. I'll probably I will do breakdowns of lean coins and look at see yeah, the move sets of characters and see look at them in footage and give more information about that as soon as I possibly can. Um, Ganondorf. Now Ganondorf actually got a big redesign. He's now looks like his Ocarina of Time look. And they gave in you know, all his smash attacks. He has a sword now with his smash attacks. So, so it gives him now distinct. Now it makes gives him a bit of a bigger difference from Falcon. Falcon, you doing like the shul doing the el big ass elbow slash shoulder stuff. I mean, Gandalf still has his shoulder and the warlock punch. The warlock punch actually has armor. <laughs> It was like that thing has armor and it looks like you either no matter how many times you hit him, it's practically that shit coming through, so basically you gotta move out of the way. So So that has armor appears. Now every since every character's in it, there's a lot of stuff. Pokemon trainers back. Now I don't know what exactly is how you change Pokemon. If it's down B or not, so maybe it's a, maybe the change it's a taunt change. If it is, then that's really good. If it is, because because no one really wants to do that, so that'll be interesting. If it's a taunt change, 
then that's good. If it's not, then I'm like, but if if but I would like to see if every character has their own form of a downbeat, which actually gives uh, each character a unique playstyle, more of a unique playstyle, more of like a unique playstyle. So, um, was there any gameplay of the games? Yes, Squirtle is pretty much the same as. Kind of looks like the same as Brawl. So does uh, so does Ivysaur a bit, and there is I'm not sure exactly which uh, uh, exactly everything, but everything does. But I don't know exactly. I don't know how similar they are. We'll probably get. To, we'll probably find gameplay. Uh, there are some. I did see find uh, some people have gameplay. There's gameplay of Snake, there's gameplay of Marv, there's gameplay of, of Pokemon Trainer. I'll probably look into breaking some of those characters down and figure out what do they even have, what do they have, what's the potential, their potential in the game do they have. Because a lot of them, there has to be, a, there's a lot of stuff. Me Fighters are back. Me Fighters still in there, is back. They're going to have, they're actually going to be able online. So on for fun for glory stuff, so it means your all the wackiest, craziest designs with me's are still gonna be are get to be displayed all around the world instead of just being shared in between people. In between people. So there's gonna be a lot of crazy, insane designs you get to play against crazy insane me's online. I mean, his design aspect is pretty cool, and I don't know in terms of move set what they have. I don't know if they have like they'll probably set something up like when a build comes out, when a build possibly comes out. So for now, we're still right now. That's what it is right now. So we have to take that still with grains of salt. A lot of characters in the. All the characters have redesigns. For example, Zelda looks like a link between worlds. <sighs> looks like a, or is it a link to the past? Zelda, or a link between worlds? Zelda. So she looks entirely different, but her moves are flashier and more to come out much more faster. So it's so she's not as low as she used to be. So there is some stuff there. Some stuff. There is some stuff there with Zelda. I will probably people can explain more to me. Probably find more players who have explained that a lot more and who have have experience with a character in the past. So there is also stuff to look at. Um, Re now Ryu, Ryu actually now faces his opponents. The same way he has, just like in all of his classic fighters. So that means you can. So that means if your character faces the right, he's gonna face the right automatically. Face the right. So that means if you do like a show, you can. So that means if you think any. So if you can get someone to change thinking that they're gonna. So that means probably sure if you get them to jump, you will still be able to do a show. You can without worry about having to pivot to different sides and make sure the move comes out. So it means I'm 100% sure that you're going to have an, it's going to be interesting to see how Ryu looks, how he plays, and everything still looks like he's the same. It's, his redesign is kind of odd. He is basically made uh, in a way in the way Smash made him. So it's this it's this Smash Four look, look of Street Fighter. He's still Street, he's still Ryu, but he has a different design look. It's interesting. It's different. But Ryu in the Wii version, he looks. I thought I thought they would go with something like that design, or something that looks like closer to like him in a Street Fighter Five design. But I think that was because Capcom. I think that was they just Capcom just gave him like. Here's what we made him in Smash 4, and I guess somehow they found a way of, I don't know what they were, design aspect, I think that's, I don't know, he's, 
I don't know, it's, that kind of bugs me. That's one of the things that bugs me with it. So, I don't know. It's uh, something we'll actually look at. In, but I'm still 50-50 uh, on it. Uh, Mario is... Mario still, like, so a lot of characters are the same. Bayonetta, now Bayonetta. There was Game Boy Bayonetta. There was actually... MK Leo actually played Bayonetta in the uh, game, and and we actually faced Plop and Ridley, so we're so we're thinking, looks like Ridley probably might, who knows what Ridley could have be like? Is really like gonna be like, so, oh, can she counter Bayonetta's crap? Bayonetta's bullshit or anything like that? Is there anything? How is Bayonetta look like? Basically, it looks like they kind of just brought her in from Smash Four, so from this build, so, but since this is the first playable build of the game, and this was the first meta set, in terms of, like, competition, Sakurai ended up watching the tournament, did watch the tournament, and he looked at it, and realized, look at the Bayo's big-ass Lara comp, big, Leo's, Lara, Leo did Bayonetta's traditional Lara combo, which is what we all looked at it, and we were just like, "Oh shit!" Basically, a lot of people's mindsets at that point was like, "Oh shit!" Like we're doing this, we're gonna be doing this again. <laughs> we got four more years of this crap. <laughs> like, but Sakurai afterwards, pretty much at the end of the invitational, he did look at it and he just said. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go to Japan and get that fixed real quick because that shouldn't have happened. Shouldn't be happening. So, we're probably not seeing that ever again. So, who knows? I think she's gonna be nerfed at least a good notch. I don't know how, but I'm. But to hear that Sakurai is gonna nerf this character, gonna try to look work on this character probably is gonna be that's kind of good. So. That's a sign of they're he's gonna make this competitive amounts. Now is Nintendo like full esports now. I don't think they are, but I feel like they're gonna be they're still hands off on esports. I did watch the Splatoon the World Championships. That looks it looked pretty nice. At least treat it like a professional tournament. It's but I think it's just this if they just hold not do a lot of stuff to uh esports, it's gonna be interesting. But the constant updates and balancing, that's where it'll work out for us. If you do that, we are, then the good thing about it is prize pots going to be bigger, top eight's going to be more people are going to watch the tournaments, more people will play it, and in turn, you know, if Nintendo wants to do something like that, do kind of follow a bit of like Capcom's lead with like how they do the Pro Tour. At least have some big tournaments. Have an extra pop bonus, a little bit of a pop bonus, and also have at least uh, make a sponsored tur at least give us a little sponsorship to turn little sponsored tournaments, and also make things work out itself work out in a way where we actually get some. Uh, where everything looks out perfectly and it actually helps you guys helps community out out a lot. I don't know. But there's some things that I'm hoping I think Capcom looked at it and is possibly gonna get into this is gonna be focus on making the game work. So the game comes out December seventh, there's a so we got about six months to be ready, so there's a little time left, so, am I going, now am I going to go any straight Ash 4 tournaments? Well, not really, I'm not going to be in tournaments, but I'll probably at least be around playing friend, maybe playing friendlies, playing friendlies, spectating, if commentary is, if there's commentary, I might want to try, I do, maybe do some commentary. At least do, but I'm still going to at least, at least provide content. I mean, I'm still going to provide content with Smash 4 Wii U. I mean, it's not like I'm not going to give up on it on Smash 4 right now. For this time. So I think, but I think if there is a demo 
when the time demo come a demo comes out, if a demo is announced or a beta online beta is announced at some point, then that's probably the time it's like, yep, since this is now is about that time to say goodbye and give it a fond farewell, you know, and everything. Then that's a then that's a good way of sending it off. But for now it is we got time. Not every character is out. Uh, there's going to be balances. Everything's going to be different. What are some of the big differences? Also, Mario's down air, if you don't know, is now as a spike. It's a dunk. So, I'm probably sure every a lot of uh, about a lot every about every character is different. It's the same. I think with Marf now, Marf he got a couple. Of Big things. His Danger Blade comes out a little bit faster, so that means basically comes out a little bit faster. So that means it means he has some com. You can actually pull off some good combos. Good combos. And in terms of short hops, it, short hop arrows. Oh, I am suspecting it to see basically you marfed it. So I'm thinking we might have a little bit of melee marf stuff. So there's a little bit of melee marf. They pretty much help make Marv have a little bit of melee stuff. So, so that's gonna be different. The speed is different. There's speed, a lot more speed. So this is a much more faster pace. There's more. There's more aggressive stuff. You got a bit more defensive options, but they're limited. So, so in terms of like, if you're an aggressive player, guess what? It kind of awards is kind of a benefit for you. And to me, play. I am a guy who practically loves a pressure style, aggressive offense. So to me, it's kind of a good. But so for me, it kind of benefits me a bit more. Benefits me a bit more. So it's it's about fifty fifty, and uh, it's about a good thing. Now, do I think now will melee players all and in jump into it? I think I think if you, but I think why uh, how uh, how the tournament, how the Smash Invitational worked out. Uh, according to Armada, he said that it is something that he probably he probably will give it a chance. I think in melee player to a lot of melee players, I think they're still going to be focusing on melee. But I still they I still say to to anyone who's a part of a melee like me, I still say try it out. It's I'm not. I know you're not gonna jump off, jump off melee and just to jump in to jump into this game. I know you probably are gonna stick with, stick to your guns with melee, but at least give it a chance. And then you know maybe you can. There's a way you can play both of them, just like how you guys how players played with melee and played PM when it was around when it was big. Where it was still a strong. That's why I think give that a chance, try it when it comes out. In if to people who actually played melee, try to come on here and come on to Smash Five to Smash Ultimate. Then, then who knows? But in terms of like this, if you haven't played a Smash game before, this is a game you probably will like to try. Well, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be a big thing, and I say this is gonna be a good game, and this is practically a game everyone really wanted. Uh, Nintendo really said we're gonna give you guys you guys wanted every care wanted these characters in the game. You guys wanted wanted these stages in the game. You wanted this these mechanics everything. Sakurai Park, I think Nintendo, in this case, really listened and really are going to be doing guys what we want. Plus, it gives, plus Smash, giving it, looks like it has the more competitive stock, has more competitive, bit more of a competitive, it, a little bit aims towards the competitive side, especially one of the big things is they turned off stage hazard. So, that means anything, any BS state, there is stage hazards. Stage hazards, hazards are toggleable, so that means you can turn them on or turn them off. So that means a stage that. So if basically if stage, so 
probably in the terms of stages that actually pretty much could kill you have had stuff that killed you in the past it looks like it's coming it, you can actually play it now without having any worries any true worries but besides that I feel like this is gonna be a good game I'm hoping I'm ready I'm hoping to see more when this game comes out I hope there's playable builds of the game like say a tournaments I know I'm hoping there is actually a chance to play it at maybe say say Smashcom if it is then I'll probably go to Smashcon to play that. I probably won't play in any tournaments, like any tournaments, but to play the game, but to play Smash Five itself, that is something I would like to see, ha would like to see, and play. So, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try to gather as much of the footage as I can. This is a little video to, this is my two cents on everything. I'm hoping this game has. Comes out really strong. I'm hoping everything looks good. I'll be back later to do maybe do any breakdowns of the characters as I can and match up and and show like some gameplay footage or gameplay footage right now. VG Bootcam actually posted some videos and it had Snake and Cloud and Pokemon Trainer and also saw also in a cat played Marf, which actually is I actually want to see that gameplay footage of how Marv looks and probably look at maybe get some stuff with a Smash Invitational so there's some stuff I want to see so but I'll look into it I'll give you guys that footage breakdown as best I can is anyways guys thank you guys for watching I'll be back later with that stu with the that footage and some of these breakdowns as I can best I can and uh, these will be I'll try to get these videos up constantly and every about every day. I'm gonna try at least get them every day. Uh, these every day, but stuff. Ha but you know, stuff happens. Anyways, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'm J Money. I'll see you guys later. Peace.